Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the new things in Affinity Photo 2 and onwards is the hue mask. This is best understood in terms, first of all, of the HSL control, which has got a hue selector here, which is pretty good. And if I say click one of these and I can set any of these, though it's red here, it actually could make it any colour at all. But I can't see what's happening, so the way to see it, I'll turn up the saturation. And as I move around here, you can see it is picking up some areas here. So this here, for example, is predominantly blue, even though it's actually quite dark. And so I can actually pick an area, go to the picker, pick something like that, pull in the edges of it as much as I can, and then change the saturation to whatever I want, uh, change the luminosity, and so on. Maybe a little bit of hue change. But that's all I can do. I can change HSL with this. But this little device here is really handy because it's a hue selection device and I can use that to choose anything I want. So the same effect is if I go down here to the mask layer, click on that, and go to hue range mask. Now then I've got the same thing here. It's attached to the background here and it affects the whole picture. So now when I go around here, because it's just a mask, you're actually, it's making things invisible except that which is selected. So I can literally move around the picture, including just selecting those things there, and you can see the original colour. So this bit here, if I drag this over here, you can see that that blue is just a little bit the highest one, but because it's just higher, that makes means it gets selected. And these either side here are just the kind of feathered bits. And what you can do with feathered bits is the bits down here. If I click on those, I can change that feathering this way to a curve or even have some presets as to how that gets selected. And that's one side. And then we go to the other side, which is that one. And this goes down this way which will be picking up a part of the circle. So in other words, those two, one picks this side, one picks that side, and you'll see it with how that colour works. OK, so what we're going to do is reset this. Let's just work on selecting this particular lake. And so I can go to the picker here and click on this. But now I've got too much selected. This bit up here is a bit yellowy. So I want to bring this round a bit here. So slide the whole thing around, then bring in that feathering until I'm losing those areas there. And I can play around with these to get the best kind of selection here. I've still got some of those bits there. So that's pretty much most of this selected. So I can select that and I can change the colour of that. What if I want to sort of try and improve that a bit? Well, something I can do is add other masks. So I could actually add another range mask. Yeah, hue range mask. And I'm going to get the picker here and pick up here in the rocks, that area there. So this is up here. And I can invert this. So if I invert this, then this is kind of knocking that out. But I want to include this again. So I can take this away from where that is there. I still might get a bit in there, so I'm going to play around with this one, which is this orangey one. Go back to this one here and perhaps play around with this one as well. And see if I can get the best combination of those there. And I can even go into these here and see if working on the other, that side doesn't work. Go to the other side and not going to select that a bit. No, not really, but it's worth trying. But I've now got a much better selection of this and I can bring this out a bit there. There we go. And I've mostly removed that up there. This up here, this side's not affecting it because it's not picking up anything there. So now I can do something like I can put on, let's say, any, any control at all. So let's just say brightness and contrast, simple one. 
And if I select those, so click on one, shift click the other, drag those up to the brightness and contrast. Now they're only applied to brightness and contrast. So now when I do this, I'm simply changing the lake there. So I can make that a bit brighter, change the contrast in it, make it a bit darker if I want. Just make sure that when I do it, it's within sort of reasonable. It looks like it's realistic and I can change that. So I've literally got a before and after on that lake and do the same thing in other colored areas. Anyway, that's it. That is how the hue saturation mask, or sorry, hue range mask works and you can use them, stack them there, multiple ones together. You can use other masks with them, but it makes a really, really good way of selecting hue. That's it and thank you very much for watching.